guys, Jane from Sustain My Craft Habit here, and in this video we're going to show you how to make these decorative rope orbs. So we saw these orbs last year and had to figure out how to make them for our coastal projects as decor. We've also seen them called monkey's fists and sailor rope, knot balls and decorative knots, all kinds of different names, but we like to call them rope orbs. All you need to make these orbs is a quarter inch thick size of rope, a good pair of scissors and your hands. To start you're going to take your size of rope and cut three strands that are each about 56 inches long. This is enough to make one of the rope balls. Next, lay the three strands flat on the palm of your hand facing towards you with about two inches of the strands hanging over the top of your hand. Wrap the three strands around the back of your hand and over the front crossing from left to right. With those two inch tails still sticking out above your hand, you're going to wrap the longer tails around your hand again, but now on the right side. Next, you're going to tuck those long tails from right to left underneath that first loop that you made around your hand. Since the rope is pretty thick, it's probably easiest to work with one strand at a time. Again, you just wanna make sure that when you're done, the three strands are lying flat side by side. Now take those three strands that are on the right side of your hand and pull them over the middle three strands on your hand. This is one of the trickier parts, but once you're done and the six strands are crossed over each other, it'll create a little pocket. And in this little pocket, you'll take the long strands and tuck them in. You don't want the strands to cross over each other, so they gotta stay flat for the ball to look good in the end. Adjust any strands that are a bit longer than the others, and then you can continue on. At this point, you should be connecting with the short tail that you started with. And we have another tutorial on the blog that you can just stop here and use a little bit of hot glue to glue these ends together and you have beautiful nautical napkin rings. Now basically to complete the ball, you're going to repeat this pattern so that each of the strands now lie side by side, like six strands side by side, and that will in the end create your monkey's fist or nautical rope ball. Just keep following that original pattern you made along, but make sure your strands stay flat and follow um, the original tails that you created. You can use this same technique to make larger or smaller balls using thicker or thinner rope. We love our nautical and coastal decor and DIY ideas, so be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our blog, sustainmycrafthabit.com for more ideas um, for your cottage or home or just to add a little coastal touch to anything that you're doing. Following this process, eventually you will meet up with the starting tails and at that point you should have six strands side by side all around your ball and you can just tuck any loose ends right into the middle of the ball. You don't even need to glue them, they should stay in place. 
Once done, you may just need to massage the ball a bit to get it nice and round or tuck in any of the strands that are a little bit looser than the others. But otherwise, you're good to go. If you enjoyed this video, we'd greatly appreciate a thumbs up and leave a comment below to let us know how you would use these decorative rope orbs or monkey's fists. Thanks so much for watching.